In this video, we are going to discuss about time shifting property in Laplace transform. So, this is somewhat similar to time shifting property in Fourier transform or not only this property, uh, all this maximum all these properties which I listed in the properties of Laplace transform are similar to Fourier transform properties, only the difference is we are placing s in place of omega. So, that means there we are covering only omega domain, here we are covering both sigma and omega that means real and imaginary domains combined in S plane. So, coming to time shifting property in Laplace transform, this property will state about what is the spectrum of the signal after shifting some time. So, for that I want to consider any signal x of t like this, if x of t is a signal for this if you consider Laplace transform that is x of s, if a signal x of t is having Laplace transform as x of s then time shifting property, time shifting property states that x of t minus t naught that means shifted version of x of t is having Laplace transform as e power minus s t naught into x of s. So, this is the property that means if you shifted in time then what you are going to get in transform, how your transform or spectrum of the signal is going to vary means it is going to multiply with e power minus s t naught where t naught is the delay or shift in the signal. Now, I am going to prove this property. So, here we know that the equation of Laplace transform that is Laplace transform of x of t any signal x of t is equivalent to integral minus infinity to infinity x of t into e power minus s t dt. So, this is the equation for Laplace transform. Now, we need to calculate or we need to prove the Laplace transform of x of t minus t naught is equivalent to this. So, that is why I am considering my signal as x of t minus t naught. So, that means I need Laplace transform of x of t minus t naught. So, here in place of x of t in the equation now onwards I am going, going to substitute x of t minus t naught. So, that means integral minus infinity to infinity in x of t place I am substituting t minus t naught into e power minus s t dt. For further processing I am going to consider this t minus t naught as some time variable that shift t I am going to consider I am going to equivalent with any time variable. So, let t minus t naught is equivalent to some b. So, here t is equivalent to b plus t naught. This t naught is always a constant that may be that delay may be 2 or 3 or 4 seconds, 5 seconds or 5 nanoseconds whatever it may be that time delay which we are considering in the shift that is a constant. So, if you consider differentiation for this t that is equivalent to dB only, d by dt of t naught will become 0. So, dt is equivalent to dB, all these considerations I am going to substitute in this equation. So, here Laplace transform of x of t minus t naught will modify like integral minus infinity to infinity in place of t minus t naught. Now, one more so I am going to consider b. So, that means x of b e power minus s in place of t I can consider b plus t naught. So, b plus t naught I am considering b plus t naught into in place of dt I can consider dv. Now, onwards I can consider dv. Now, you can see we are integrating in terms of b, but here we are having e power minus s t naught term that will be considered as a constant we can take out that from the integration. So, in the next step I am taking it out. So, e power minus s t naught term I am taking it out because that is a constant compared to this integration. The remaining is x of b e power minus s b d b. Replace so, replace b with t, then what will happen? If you replace b with t, then db will become dt. So, here that is equivalent to e power minus s t naught integral minus infinity to infinity x of t e power minus s t dt. So, that is nothing but x of s. Laplace transform of x of t is nothing but x of s. x of s is equivalent to 
you got same equation here. So finally that is equivalent to e power st naught into x of s. Here you consider the Laplace transform of x of t minus t naught you got e power minus st naught into x of s. So this statement is proved. So time shifting property always states that whenever you are having a signal with a particular spectrum or frequency domain if you delay that signal then that will affect the spectrum of the signal. How that affects the spectrum of this signal means for example if you shifted like this x of t minus t naught then the spectrum is affected like this that means it is scaling like this e power minus st naught into x of s. For example x of t is having some Fourier transform Laplace transform x of t is a signal is having Laplace transform that means x of s is equivalent to some 1 by 2s plus 1. Your Laplace transform of x of t is equivalent to x of s is equivalent to 1 by 2s plus 1. This is your Laplace transform. Someone are asking what is the Laplace transform of x of t minus 2 signal if the transform of x of t is 1 by 2s plus 1 then you need to apply this property. If you know the spectrum or frequency domain representation of your signal for the delayed version of the signal you can trace the transform without doing any calculation. That means directly I can write e power minus 2s divided by 2s plus 1. So that means e power minus s in place of t naught I am having 2 e power minus 2s x of s is given that, that is 1 by 2s plus 1. So finally the Laplace transform of x of t minus 2 will become e power minus 2s by 2s plus 1. So here for example if they given positive shift then what will happen means here also you are going to get positive value of e power that means the time shifting property for x of t plus t naught is equivalent to that means Laplace transform of x of t plus t naught negatively shifted signal is equivalent to e power s t naught into x of s that is only the difference if you replace your t plus t naught in this derivation also you are going to get this same. So this is about time shifting property in Laplace transforms.